Brooklyn's opening lineup. Simmons and Dinwiddie comprise the backcourt. Mikael Bridges is out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Claxton in at the five. And for the Celtics, Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's Derek White. Then there's Drew Holiday. And it's Brown in at small forward. And a battle of the bigs tonight, Graham. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league. And right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Now Simmons. Pass to Finney Smith. Here's Claxton. And he tears it home with authority. Well, that's just a good possession. Dorian Finney Smith moving the ball. He's been working on that aspect of his game. Here's Porzingis. Deflected. And he's able to get it back. And so Denwitty will bring it up for Brooklyn. Last time they met in Brooklyn. Last time these teams met, who it came down to the wire. The bench play in that game was the difference. Yeah, I don't think they win without the productivity they got from their bench. That made the difference. And Porzingis with the block. Tatum finds Holiday. Outside, Brown. And the three off target. About a minute played here so far in the first. Simmons looking around. Five to shoot. Let's it fly from 18. Hauled in by Brown. For Boston, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. And Grant, this Nets team trying to set their identity at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, well, with the players they have on the wings, led by Mikhail Bridges, they have the personnel to be disruptive. Long, mobile, and switchable. They give you lots of trouble. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Doris, when he's off the court, Jalen Brown is an outspoken advocate for education. What I love about Jalen B.A. is that he's about so much more than basketball. This young man has a passion for learning. It's a very admirable cause he has tried to be outspoken for. You love the superstar level effort between the lines and outside the lines. Simmons, Holiday grabs the miss. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Pass to Dinwiddie. Driving inside. Here's Claxton. And Porzingis with the block. Porzingis, seven three, says not here and not now. So it's Brooklyn now. Trailing by two. And it's good for two. Claxton's gotten his second bucket of the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. To the middle. Brown, no good. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Bridges down low. Brown's there. A nice defensive play. Altered the shot, then stayed right there to clean up the glass. Brooklyn foul. Let's take a look at the numbers for Jason Tatum. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for two. Jalen. Free throw good. Brown. What I love about Jalen Brown is his commitment to improvement. This guy's worked hard on his three-point shooting. He's worked hard on his handle and his decision-making, and there's still another level to come. Thomas, he's checked in for Bridges. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holiday. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Dinwiddie.
It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Free throw good, Dinwiddie. For Boston, they've gone one of five to start things off. Outside Holiday. Oh, there's the alley! And finished off by Tatum. Well, Jason Tatum has worked hard to fill out his frame. It's not going to bother him that you're bringing a level of physicality. Pass to Finney Smith. It's stolen by Tatum. Simmons against Holiday. Here's White. And here's Brown for three. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Now Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep, boy. You better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender here. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Brooklyn making some changes. Watford's checked in for Claxton. O'Neal comes in for Finney Smith. And it's Walker in for Simmons. Here's Denwitty. Pass to Thomas. The basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Outside, Brown. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. The Nets in fifth. Last year, they were so good at generating open looks from distance. That's why their three-point shooting was so high. Dinwiddie passes to Walker. Here he goes. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Jalen Brown picks one up. It's so early in the season, but doors for players struggling out of the game. When do they start to feel pressure to up their game? You know what's interesting about the VA is you always see certain guys who maybe the first month, six weeks of the season, really struggle to shoot the basketball, can't find their rhythm. But eventually they just settle in, let the game come to them. Uh, and obviously, for some guys, there's a little more leeway than others, right? Those veterans who've proven it before, they understand they've got time to prove it. Pritchard, the pass to Cornette. Brown against Walker. Here's Pritchard. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Brooklyn trailing. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first. Dinwiddie passes to O'Neal. Blocks! And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. Thomas, that's good. Thomas. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Right side, Brown. Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. And he drives in. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Dinwiddie. A minute 20 left to play in the first. Here's Horford. Just two to shoot. The shot no good. The Nets have gotten five of 11 shots to go to the paint. Here's Watford. And that misses. That would have put him up. Here's Pritchard. In his last outing, eight points for him. Out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball.
Here's Walker. Pass to Dinwiddie. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Brown passes to Cornette. Back to Brown. Another shot. The rebound by the Nets. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out. Losing to the Clippers. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. What was most disturbing to me was they didn't have a backup plan, right? The threes aren't falling. What do you do next? Brown, that's good. That's a good one. Speaks to the toughness of Jalen Brown. That frame is strong. Here's Thomas. Again with the buckets. This guy is a pick your poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. It's the Nets. They lead by three. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Nets. Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. We've got Jason Tatum, Derek White out there with Drew Holiday. Then it's Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Horford in at the four. And for Brooklyn, Cam Thomas out there with Ben Simmons. Then it's Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Mikael Bridges. And it's Finney Smith in at the power forward position. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And for Boston, Al Horford out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Drew Holiday. Then it's Derek White. And it's Porzingis in at the five. Here's White. Can't hit that one. Ooh, great D that time from Simmons. Well, one advantage of putting the ball in Ben Simmons' hands, he's an unbelievable passer. That's so true, B.A. He has incredible vision, and what's most striking to me is if he rebounds it and goes, the ability to push tempo, the ability to use that incredible vision to put pressure on in transition, it is probably his greatest strength. Oh, through contact! White gets the finish. The more Porzingis proves himself a threat as a passer, the more dangerous he can become as a scorer. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And stolen by Porzingis. Here's Tatum. Ooh, rocket finish from Tatum. So skilled at keeping his balance through the contact. Jason Tatum doing work. Timeout call to Brooklyn. It's been a career of ups and downs for Porzingis. But he seems to have found himself now, Doris. Well, let's think about the start of his career with the New York organization. He was off to a tremendous start. Then the injury sets in. And obviously, there's a physical and mental battle in Katsukuma. But boy, now that he's moved on, he is starting to become a force. Here's Thomas. Rebound by Jason Tatum. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. White on the wing. And the call is going to be, yes, on an illegal screen. And here we now get a look back on the best shot blockers in the NBA last season. Well, you look at Claxton, a remarkable defender, second in the NBA. It's obvious that he completely dedicated himself to protecting the rim doing everything he could to get his hands on as many shots as possible. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Inside. 
That's good from Holiday on the assist by White. And now it's a four-point Boston lead. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Eddie Smith passes to Simmons. And there's the lob. Tatum with the block. There's a pride to the defensive end of the floor. Tatum sends that back. Oh, Tatum takes the contact. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Boston. Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Looking to end the run. And the Nets miss again. Boston has gone three or four from distance in this game. Horford, left side. Outside Tatum. Unloads. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Personal foul. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. BA, he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. Well, the saying is defense wins championships. But in this day and age, don't you need both? No question, B.A., you definitely do. I mean, we've seen plenty of great defenses flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points. Defense alone isn't enough. You need a balance of both. Timeout call, Brooklyn. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Ben Simmons has dealt with injuries, yes, but the mental aspect is also one that he's working on. He said, quote, being assertive and aggressive, I know who I am. I know I need to get to the rim and get buckets, and that's also going to help my teammates and get them going. Brian, they are all about regaining their confidence. Such a key right now. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff there. And Claxton gets the bucket. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges. He's so willing to give it up to an open guy. Outside Tatum. Walker against White. And he was camped in the lane there. Gets a three-second call. On Saturday, they'll host the Toronto Raptors. Then on Monday, they'll host the New York Knicks. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Six-point game. Walker passes to Dinwiddie. Off the mark there with a three. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive, and they've been physical. Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. When you allow Jason Tatum to get going early and to build momentum offensively, it can be a scary night. Dinwiddie outside. Got it. Good job in the low post. Dinwiddie's got seven points in the game. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. On the wing, Tatum. It's Tatum working inside. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Dinwiddie outside. Takes it inside. No, sir. He's now three for five in this one. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Nice shot by Walker. Assisted Spencer. Dindy. For Boston, they've gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. Down low. Here's White. Inside. White gets it to go. And they've really been more consistent from the field this quarter. 127 left in the second quarter. Pass to Claxton. And it's Cornette with a rebound. The Celtics have gotten eight of their first ten to go. Great shooting here in the second quarter. Hauser can't get it to go. Brooklyn trailing. Dinwiddie outside. Watford the pass to Dinwiddie. Outside Walker. Back to Dinwiddie. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Over Holiday. Then Willie, no good. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. There's Tatum with the three. The rebound by the Nets. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. And that's a defensive lapse. A shooter of his caliber can't be left wide open. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of this game. Holiday against Dinwiddie. Here's Hauser. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Hauser's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Dinwiddie outside. Here's Bridges. And that's not going to go. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points leading the charge. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 15 points, three rebounds, and one block. It is all happening for him so far tonight. An incredible first half performance. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They've really established themselves in the glass. He and Dominic Bear is going to be I think he's just got to, you know, bring the same energy to the second half. Kenny, how'd you think the Nets will play? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys are getting burned up. They went for the hand up. My man, you can say, hand down, man down. Oh, we got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Jack, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Boston has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. On the floor for the Nets. Walker the off guard and Bridges the small forward. Nicholas Claxton out there with Dorian Finney-Smith and it's Simmons in at the one. Here's Holiday. Oh, Simmons with the block. That is the long arms and defensive prowess of Ben Simmons on display. And the basket by Bridges. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Simmons against Holiday cashes in the 12 footer. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. Well, the Nets shooting 47% on this one, looking efficient. Outside Walker puts up a three. Kept alive. Here's Claxton. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Claxton's got eight. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. He makes a first. So the Nets making a switch here. Thomas has checked in. Holiday hits them both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Simmons against Holiday. Claxton up top. Pass to Thomas. Shot clock at six. Over White, it's deflected. That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. 
Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Operating inside, poor Ziggis. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Fires the three. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Here's Holiday. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. And it's a 12-point Boston lead. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Outside, Finney Smith. Back to Thomas. Pass to Finney Smith. Reporter Bridges. And it's J.C. Tatum with a rebound. Tatum's got five rebounds in the game. Simmons against Holiday. Back to Brown. Shoots over Bridges. Brown can't hit. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Bridges passes to Finney Smith. And here's Simmons. To get back on track. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Tatum. That's Ben Simmons putting the defense in a compromising situation. Draws the foul. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Holiday. And the Nets also making a change. O'Neal, he's checked in for Claxton. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30. And that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X-factor on any given night. Bridges finds Simmons. Oh, he picked it clean! Here's Tatum. Nice D from Bridges. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Trailing by 13. Simmons, the pass to Thomas. To the inside. Here's Kenny Smith. And Porzingis with the block. Tatum looking it over. Pass to Pritchard. Horford outside. Oh, Horford wanting it more. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Simmons, the pass to O'Neal. Pass to Thomas. good that time. Nice D from Brown. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Brian, diversity is certainly value in the NBA, but Commissioner Adam Silver said we should have more women coaches. We should have a female head coach right now. We should have more women referees. As much as we've led in certain areas, we're a bit behind in this area. It's something we're working very hard on. Brian? All right, great point there, Allie. Good stuff. We appreciate it. Timeout call. Brooklyn. He recognizes players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Tatum. So the Nets making a switch here. Here's Thomas. No good on the quick three. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Horford for three. Sam Hauser. Second personal foul. First team foul. Brooklyn has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Dinwiddie outside. Outside Walker. A minute 31 left in the third quarter. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. Here's Hauser. It's stolen away. 
away. And here they come. From 12 feet. Here's Watford. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Bowser passes to Brown. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Walker. Brown can't hit. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line could be the next best thing. And he drops a first. Taking two shots. And both free throws good for Walker. The Celtics have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Pritchard, the pass to Hauser. Here's Cornette. Up and in on the layup. Cornette's got his first basket of the night. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Here's Thomas. He has six. Pulls it in from the elbow. Can't get it to drop. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. And so it's Boston liking their chances. Ending the quarter with a 15-point lead. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You'll love the unselfish play. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Drew Holiday out there with Derek White. Then there's Al Horford. Then there's Luke Cornett, and it's Tatum in at the three. And the shot goes down. Well, good defense, losing to better offense in that instance. You love how calm Mikel Bridges is in the face of that great success. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. And the Nets shooting 40% from the field in this one. Dinwiddie against White. Now here's Simmons. He's closely guarded. The shot off that time. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Finished off the break. Tatum. Tatum's got four points in the quarter. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Here's Dinwiddie. Horford with some nice D. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Brooklyn foul. Mikel Bridges. Third All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Boston? Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. I think the other thing they've done exceptionally well tonight is shoot the mid-range and take advantage of those opportunities. Anytime they're given a look, they have delivered. Porzingis has checked in for Cornet. And counted. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. He hears the whistle, and he keeps his concentration and is able to knock it down. Now here's White. We've got about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Outside Holiday. Brooklyn with the board. Claxton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Bridges. Oh, wow! And how about the hops Bridges has? Showing off some there with the slam. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. 
Pass to Porzingis. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Back to Holiday. Tips. Holiday against Bridges. Simmons with it. It's Tenwitty on the wing. Just five to shoot. Simmons, the pass to Bridges. Misses the three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Knocked away. In transition. Tatum way outside. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Tatum. Holiday's got his seventh assist here tonight. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Benny Smith passes to Dinwiddie. Fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. There's Tatum with the three. The rebound by Ben Simmons. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Nets. It's a 16-point game. Dinwiddie passes to Finney Smith. Back to Dinwiddie. This one for three. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got a seventh rebound here tonight. I love their work on the glass. They hold a nice rebounding advantage. A kick out to White. Outside Holiday. Inside. White the pass to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. That one no good. Good D by Finney Smith. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Bridges. And the bucket is good. You know, you have to like that he's still getting quality touches Celtics, and delivering time. now after getting blanked in the first half. And Boston calls time here. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. Right, we present our New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Now what an unbelievable offensive performance from him tonight. I mean, it's been crazy fun to watch him just, just go off. I mean, the defense had no chance. He just kept scoring over and over again. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans. And it motivates him to always give them his very best. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. During that last break, I heard Joe Missoula as he talked with the team. He said, keep it going, guys. Ride this wave of momentum. We're playing great right now, but we can't let up. Guys, back to you. Appreciate the report, Allie. Pass to Holiday. Back to Tatum. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. I love when Jason Tatum is aggressive to score the basketball. He does a tremendous job keeping his focus. The Nets have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Dinwiddie against White. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Holiday. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. Brown gets the bucket. And the Celtics lead by 19. They're one of the best defensive players in the game. Holiday's timing on steals is phenomenal. Outside Simmons with the hook shot. Holiday grabs the miss. The Celtics have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Here's Brown. The defense is right there. The kick to Tatum. Simmons against Holiday. Five on the clock. Porzingis for three. That one falls. Nice speed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his ninth assist of the game now. Dinwiddie against White. Dinwiddie, no good. Boston on offense. 
They're on a 16 to 7 run. On the wing, Holiday. Pass to Brown. Dinwiddie against White. There's the drive. They kick it out to Porzingis. The rebound by Simmons. It's Thomas on the wing. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Claxton. Yep, count it. I love his tenacity. Extra possessions, second chance points. That's winning basketball. And here's Brown. Into the lane. It's blocked. And they'll get another chance. Pass to Porzingis. Oh, sinks it after the cagey pump thing. Nice. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They did just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Thank you. I'm here with Jason Tatum. And Jason, congratulations on the win. What did you like about this team's performance tonight? Uh, our toughness. Um, and, you know, we're figuring it out. It's early. But uh, we're taking it game by game, quarter by quarter. And uh, everybody, everybody contributing. So, uh, you know, I like it. Thanks, Jason. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Grand Hill, Allie LaForce and Doris Burke and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everybody.